Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your December reading. Let's take a look at your oracles. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. My name's Michelle. Let's get an oracle for you from Alice the Wonderland for the month of December for my Sagittarians. Okay, we have you are rare and free. There are not many like you. Well, that is the truth, Sagittarius. Let's get one for the person that you're dealing with. From Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, the energy around the person that you are dealing with here in the month of December. The energy around the person that Sagittarius is dealing with in the month of December, please, Spirit Guides. We do have the dream walker okay all right so this one speaks of dreams the collective good and illusions all right and let's get the overall energy for the reading for the sagittarius please for the month of december what is this reading about please spirit guides what is this reading about please spirit guides kindred partnership beautiful Wow, very nice. Let's take a look. Sagittarius, you are rare and free. Sometimes, though, people do struggle to understand you and uh, they want to try to fit you into their box, something that they're comfortable with, familiar with. But you're not going to go into a box. You're a trailblazer, a rebel, a free spirit. Sometimes that meets with disapproval. But I feel that here, you'd rather just be yourself rather than be like them. You too are something of a rare wild flower, a nature child, adventurous. And uh, sometimes you just won't behave in ways that others think are, are right. And I'm putting right in air quotes. I feel here that is a need to, for you to just be yourself. You are inspired by being your own self and exploring your own potential. You're unconventional, surprising, different, and uh, the right people will like this. Some will say you're wrong to be free or downplay that, but I would say embrace, embrace your own rare qualities. Don't try to fit in because that will just get you frustrated. Um, you'll always be unhappy. So I get bravery around you i get you to need to be your own wild flowery self so that you'll inspire others especially those who who've struggled with finding themselves now the dream walker as the person around you i like the energy around this because the dream walker as an ally speaks about daring to dream and daring to dream that your dreams can come true there are, of course, two kinds of dreams, those of the small self and those of the divine. Spirit has a dream for this person, and uh, all they need to do really is ask, and it will unfold. So the energy around this is an important and unique part of dreaming. Someone who is dreaming something and needs to bring that dream into fruition, not feeling like that's out of their reach, what serves their greater purpose? What kind of vision do they have for their life? Something that's serving the highest good for not just themselves, but for others as well. Just the ask of, well, just the, the task at hand here uh, of dreaming and daring to put it out there to the universe, asking the universe, will immediately provide some kind of response from the universe. So the dream walker here is to help this person move effortlessly through illusions, observing the truth, celebrating the waking dream of life that results. And what it seems like the dream may be is of a partnership because we have as the overall energy, the card of kindred partnership. You'll see this couple here dancing on this beach. It indicates that a potential union awaits you, Sagittarius, either now or in the not so distant future. It could be a new relationship or a deepening caring connection, but there is a sharing of mind and heart here. So beautiful energy. Let's see where this goes, Sagittarius. Loving the energy so far. And let's get these cards sorted and we'll do some shuffling. 
what do we have spirit guides for Sagittarius could be an earth sign coming in uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn someone with a lot of earth in their chart I feel like they're they are making their approach Sagittarius I feel like you're going to have a decision to make I get it as it's upgrading your circumstances you may have felt like you didn't have enough love in your life yeah, again, I get uh, the need to make decisions about your future, so make sure that you're ready. I get uh, you need to be ready for when this person shows up. If they haven't already shown up, you know, some of you Sagittarians, this person's already shown up in your life. Queen of Wands, be who you are. Just be yourself. So if you're worried about uh, new love or how new love will accept you, just be yourself, Spirit is saying. Okay, let's take a look. The energy of this person, what they bring to the table when it comes to you, their flaw as you see it, their innermost thoughts regarding you, your innermost thoughts regarding them. What are the strengths between you, the weaknesses, your potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock, and the outcome between you. Okay. Kindred partnership. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. Fire energy around this. So we could have a mixture of fire and earth in their chart. They are coming up in the reverse though. So it tells me that this person may not have come into your life uh, just yet. What do they bring towards you, the High Priestess? Okay. Yeah, I get this as the moment before this person shows up in your life. The High Priestess to me speaks about a period of calm, taking time to be by yourself, to recognize, well, I feel as like getting in touch with that uh, that intuitive aspect of uh, of Sagittarians, that higher purpose, that higher learning, a quest for learning. So I actually feel for you, you're already embodying this in your life. This is just bringing more of that into your life. So while there's a there's a partner here, a potential partner, you're still being you. It's, it's not a sense of losing yourself. This is allowing you an opportunity to remain who you are and, uh, and yet also have a partnership. The floor, we have the sun in reverse. So there may be an element of pa pessimism around this other individual. Perhaps they are feeling like they can't or that there's something blocking them from achieving their dream because maybe we have them here as the dream walkers so they seem to be dreaming but in order to bring about this dream of this partnership I feel that they need to stop dreaming and actually do put that king of wands in the upright and uh, put a plan together and take some action rather than sitting back and uh, just uh, fantasizing or dreaming about the perfect relationship. Why not manifest it? Why not bring it about? This person's innermost thoughts about you, yeah, they, they seem to be uh, stuck. I get a sense here of stubbornly refusing to believe that they can bring this about. Hmm, okay. Your innermost thoughts about them, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, tells me Sagittarius, that you believe that this is someone that's going to be good for you in the long run. Gets you out of a, a period in your life where you felt perhaps alone. I get uh, bringing light into your life. Improving your circumstances. I don't feel it's financial because I get the energy around you that, that you don't need that so much. It's more about a sense of uh, not having a companionship, uh, passion, uh, a life partner, someone who brings that sense of fun, wants to enjoy life with you, that shares your spirit, shares your sense of adventure and enthusiasm for, for learning, for the world, for, uh, for doing rather than just uh, dreaming. Okay, we have as the strength, 
the tower in reverse. Now, I get internal change around this. I'm going to see what the weakness is. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I feel it's the energy here around one of you. I actually feel it's more the other person's energy needs to change from one of just feeling like they can't improve their circumstances to one of yes I can and I will you know stop dreaming doing I see that changing but it's changing very slowly it's like they're getting some kind of internal wake-up call but it hasn't been externalized yet so this this king energy is kind of uh, simmering below the surface Sagittarius, yeah, there's that Ace of Wands. I mean, there's uh, once this realization happens that they could actually bring something about, actually do something about their life, bring what they dream of into reality, then this Ace appears. It's going to take some creativity, I feel, to get this person to kind of see this Ace, though. Mm, yeah, the Page of Cups in reverse. They're not coming forward. It's it's like they're uh, uh, lost in a little bit of illusion, a uh, fantasy. There is an energy around this other individual, Sagittarius, of someone who, in their mind, does something like this, approaches you, approaches the object of their desire. But in reality, I feel that there's some kind of restriction around this person. It could be a lack of confidence in, the, in themselves or just some inertia, you know, un unable to get out of their comfort zone, feeling like uh, they're not able to, to achieve what they want. Yeah, the chariot in reverse tells me this person is blocked. They need to make a choice in their life, choose a life direction, and, and then once they make a choice, they need to go for it. I feel like they're staring down the barrel of, of uh, two pathways, very much a crossroads energy with the chariot there. One pathway is just kind of keeps them where they are. I don't feel that they're happy. And I don't feel that they're growing as a human being. You're a breed apart though, and I think that this person recognizes that. They see you think differently than them. You live life differently than them, and probably the people that are around them. And so they, they feel unable to attain their dream, their goal. And there's an air of unattainability around you, Sagittarius, as well. Not that you're trying to give that off, it's just a, uh, it, it's just your nature, I feel. You know, you're a breed apart, so other people may think of you as someone who is kind of the, uh, the unattainable person, but I actually feel like you're, you're, you are attainable. I think that you're uh, someone who would be interested in this individual, but they need to have some kind of realization here that you're you're it's not so much as making yourself available i feel it's more about the other person and them needing to feel better about themselves before they can come forward here and offer you something the passion is there I feel that they dream about being with you, Sagittarius, but yet they, when it comes down to it, uh, they stop flat and, and they stop themselves. Insecurities and uh, doubts about their own abilities prevents them from moving towards you. Okay, let's take a look, Sagittarius. We'll, uh, we'll do the dual reading for December and let's see what's behind this person's motivations. For you, I will continue to use the Rider Waite deck. For the other person, I will use a different Rider Waite deck. Okay, let's check. For you, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers card. So there's an opportunity here, potential for to be lovers with this individual. 
So let me tune in to the energies here for a moment for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarian energies for December 2019 towards the object of their passions, the object of their desire, their partner or potential partner. And let's get the other side as well. At the bottom of their deck they have the Eight of Pentacles. So they could be just burying themselves with work at the moment. Not thinking so much about love. Let's see. Let's get started. Past energy, where you currently stand with this, where you hope to stand with it in the future, how you're viewing this person, your doubts and fears about this, the challenge to overcome, and one card for the outcome, and the other person. their past energy, where they currently stand with this, where they hope to stand with it in the future, how they're viewing you Sagittarius, their doubts and fears about this, what challenge do they need to overcome and a card for their outcome. Okay, start with the past. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Cups. All right. Okay, so what I'm getting around this is, I think in the past you may not have judged this person in the right way, Sagittarius, or they feel that you didn't. It may just have been that you overlooked them. It may have been someone that you, you didn't think was a possibility. There's some kind of energy around that. I do feel around them though, they they had um, emotion towards you. I think your emotions though were uh, a little bit screwed up maybe, uh, possibly because you were dealing with another relationship, you were focused elsewhere, and it was taking your mind off any other kind of potential partners. So you're very focused on one partner, that partner wasn't making you very happy. Uh, I, I get it was either toxic or there was some kind of karmic energy around them. And I think that for you, you found it difficult to make good choices during that time because you had to learn some difficult lessons. But this person seems to have had affection for you even in the past. Okay. All right. Yeah, it is someone from the past here, Sagittarius. They're still looking at you, uh, still looking in at you. I think that you're having realization. So uh, you've been isolated from this person. I get distance, no communication. Because you've been dealing with something else and I feel for you, uh, you're wanting to get back to who you were before you got involved perhaps with something in the past there I get you starting to feel better about yourself you may have let this other toxic thing go or this past situation and now you're ready to rejoin rejoin the world in, in terms of opening your eyes open, opening your uh, your heart to potential offers to other relationships other than what you were set on in the past okay the future here we are we've got you as the Queen of Wands so yeah I see you as this rare and free spirit someone who is very uh, adventurous 
very confident in your own abilities, uh, shining there like a beacon, if you will. So by you going through some kind of karmic episode in the past there, I get you've learned a lot. Uh, you have gained a lot of knowledge about yourself and about relationships and how you inter interact with other people. You've gained some clarity about where you're going forward. And I feel you're very focused on self, or you have been. And I get you wanting to continue uh, with the focus on, on your own success, you're achieving good things in your life, and being seen as someone who is acting for your highest good and for the highest good of people around you. The other person here has the moon, so there's a lot of things here that are unknown. Unknown. Yeah, the dream walker, dreams, the moon. So this person is dreaming about being having a future with you, I feel, but at the same time I get an energy around them of just being content with dreams for some of them. Like just dreaming about this is enough for them, but I don't know, I just feel like that would be a real shame if they didn't actually act on those dreams hmm. how are you viewing them oh okay well look now you're mirroring each other so where they had emotion in the past and, and you your emotions were quite chaotic i get you now showing emotion towards this person opening up but now i'm wondering if the other person has somehow gotten fearful or scared because you're now seeing them whereas you didn't see them before and how they see you king of pentacles i feel that this is the person it's a uh, an earth sign could be a taurus virgo or capricorn i have them though as wanting to be someone who is a stable force in your life so we've got a partnership here very practical energy as well as a, a loving compassionate caring energy I get uh, one that is uh, financially quite good for the both of you as well, as an aside. Not that I think that that's a main uh, driver here, I just feel that it's part of, the, uh, part of the whole package, if you will. There's love, there's stability, security, and, uh, and potential here to be, to have a really good partnership with a kindred spirit, someone who is is going to be there for you, you're going to be there for them, but at the same time I don't get any kind of codependent energy. I get you maintaining your independence. Your doubts and fears, you have the two of cups in reverse, so you're fearing that this connection won't happen, that this chance for harmony will be missed with this person, or has been missed. Their doubts and fears, they have the emperor in reverse. Mm. Yeah, they, they very much are doubting their, themselves. I get a lack of confidence and a lack of ambition, a lack of drive. The challenge for you, you have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So with this one here, I get the feeling that you tend to get a little, uh, shall we say, uh, focused on, very, very micro-focused. It's like you, you'll hone in and, and you'll try to, once you have decided on a course, a course of action, a plan, if you will, you, you really focus all of your intentions on that. But I feel the challenge here is to kind of ease off a little bit and just let it happen. I don't think that there's much you can do about this right now. Now this is calling for inactivity rather than being able to work towards a goal. The ball seems to be in the other person's court with the chariot. Their challenge there is definitely choosing a direction and going for it. They seem to be at this crossroads. You've already done the work, you've gone through that hermit energy, you've finished. 
but this person is in that process still processing where they want to go in the future and that's why I don't think you can do anything right now about the situation until this person decides that they can be the emperor in the upright take control of their life choose a, a direction in life and focus and put all of their attention on that I don't feel that they can bring this about the outcome for you is the two of wands in the reverse and the outcome for the other person is the three of pentacles mm -hmm. yeah you know for you I get an essence of not just yet I get this as a need to assess and I also feel there's an energy around this of needing to needing to keep your eyes focused on the future and not get too concerned with something not coming about quickly there is a sense around this of feeling like you failed and I'm a little bit concerned about that one but with the three of pentacles as their outcome it, it tells me that they are working on themselves or they may even be getting some therapy or something there that uh, is able gets them into a place here where they're able to I want to say make changes in their life because it seems like there's something that they need to deal with on a uh, by themselves it, it's not something you can help them with I think that they need some kind of external help but not not from you it, it's more from a, a a neutral third party or some kind of group effort yeah I get for some of them it's to do with health could be mental health physical health as well something that they need to overcome with the help of others before they can reach out in any way here uh, Sagittarius but you're concerned that this is not going to happen that this is not going to be brought about but I get an energy around you of needing to be needing to wait needing to wait uh, possibly before you make any kind of decision on where you're going in the future so a little bit of patience is what I'm getting around you now of course Sagittarius you are this rare free bird so you may want to kind of rush off here and do some travel and all of that I would say sit tight if you have an inkling that this person is coming towards you um, sit tight maybe give them a month or two before uh, see if they show up and then make a decision if you want to travel or, or do some kind of extended trip there but it, it seems like you, you might have an opportunity that this this person may want to come along with you if, if, if for some of you Sagittarians so we'll see where this goes in part two I hope that you join me I'll be pulling out a lot more cards for the extended and uh, and we'll look to see where this is going I'll also do a Lenormand spread and uh, pull out some more oracles as well and uh, some romance angels to see where this goes so it'll be about another 30 minute or so reading so if this is resonating uh, please do join me the link is below in the descriptions box and that's on the Vimeo channel there if you would prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com Sagittarius wishing you the best for the holiday period uh, please take care and uh, see you in part two